Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, this is your reading for the month of November 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also Cancer, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Cancer, there is an extended reading for this one and if you are interested in the same, if you are uh, excited to know what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person, okay? And also if you want to see who is a new person coming your way and what are the romantic messages for the month of November, you can go ahead and you can check out the extended reading. The link for the same is in the description box and in the comment section. As far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, Cancer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Thereafter, Cancer, I'm going to pull out some affirmations and with the help of affirmations, we'll see... Uh, with the help of affirmations, we are going to see uh, what are the affirmations for you for the month of November, okay? Alright, so let's get started now. Let's start with the tarot first. Huh. We have 8 of swords, then we have is 8 of wands, and we have is 10 of swords. Then we have is 2 of wands, the moon, and the tower. Mutual energy is 3 of pentacles and the judgment, Okay. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio, with a Cancer, with a Sagittarius, okay? Uh, I'm also I'm also sensing uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? And Taurus is what I'm hearing. Let's pull out the affirmations also, although we're going to discuss them at the fag and Cancer. What are the affirmations for Cancer for the month of November? What are the affirmations for Cancer for the month of November? Beautiful. Right. So Cancer, we have 8 of Swords, 8 of Wands and 10 of Swords for you. You may be seeing a lot of 888, 10, 10, 10. Okay, 11, 11. Right. Cancer with that Eight of Swords, Eight of Wands and Ten of Swords, what I feel is that you just want to end the ongoing pain, okay, or a situation which is causing you so much of pain, okay. Look at this. She is standing in between those Eight Swords, okay. It looks like she's picking up those Eight Swords and she's throwing these Swords towards someone okay like out of anger you're like that's it i'm just done either you are ending a situation with a person or you are ending a situation because it can be any situation say for example you just want to end a job okay say for example you just want to end a relationship you want to cut out people from your life Whatever you want to end, okay, now this need not necessarily be a love relationship, this need not be a connection with your ex, this can be any damn thing, this can also be a connection, a connection with the ex or your person with whom you are in separation with, this can also be uh, a connection with your family members, your friends, or your work colleagues. This can also be you, your job. This can also be a business or something. Okay. The, a situation is giving you a lot of pain. Okay. Someone has, someone is trying to impose restrictions on you. Okay. And you're feeling extremely suffocated in that situation. 
you're feeling like your liberty has been taken away you're feeling like no one should have right on my life no one should be able to tell me how should i live my life okay or you are finding that you are being subjected to groupism you are being subjected to politics now this can be family politics this can be politics at your workplace or this can also be politics done by your frenemies okay so what i feel is you are experiencing some unnecessary burden okay there is a bonding which you feel like is a burden on you a relationship is a burden on you and you are compromising you are accepting less than what you deserve because of this relationship or because of this connection or because of this bonding and what you're doing is you are just so done you are taking those eight swords and throwing those eight swords towards someone or something to end that situation okay look at those eight uh, those eight wands coming towards that that person okay this person is lying down with 10 swords okay so something something is not making you happy and the month of november is going to mark the end of something or it's going to mark the beginning of the end of something or end of someone okay not someone <laughs> end of something uh you feel like of course your liberty has been taken away and you are also feeling like someone is pulling you away from your dreams someone is trying to impose restrictions because they are not able to do things in their life or someone is trying to impose restrictions because whoever is imposing restrictions they want you to follow certain traditions they want you to follow the societal norms okay they they fear your unconventional ways and means they fear that they they consider you as a lion okay but they want to keep you trapped they don't want you to roam freely in the jungle okay they want to keep you trapped they want to keep you in the prison but they want to show to the world like yeah this is our lion this is our lion okay they want to take some credit out of your existence but they also don't want you to fly away okay they don't want you to be yourself they don't want you to be yourself they want you to dance to their tunes i don't know who is this okay and you are not like that you are like you will always defy the norms you will always break the rules okay you probably are a black sheep in the family okay or you are you probably are the black sheep at your workplace or wherever you are working or within the friends okay you have just realized a simple rule if something or someone is not making me happy why am i staying in that situation why am i entertaining that person okay you want to break free from something that's all i know uh as far as your person is concerned we have is tower we have moon and we have is two of wands okay your person is being thrown away from somewhere like literally thrown away okay this person has got the biggest shock of their life 
okay because maybe they have been fired from a job place or the third party sort of three of them away out of out of the house the third party has broken everything all sorts of relationship with this person okay the third party is no more in this person's life this person is single this person is suffering right now this person is suffering and now they are thinking about you because who better than you right when they need support during their bad times they think about you because you were always there for them irrespective of good times or bad times and the third party was only there for for the good times right they they want to come towards you but there is also a new person who will come your way cancer of course much better than your past person somehow i'm sensing the past person is bit bit selfish okay and with the two of wands i see some relocation happening either you are making some conscious decision to relocate somewhere else or someone is getting relocated at your place more so i feel it's you and that's how you're going to meet the new person you're making some choices you're making some choices in your life and very important choices as far as the mutual energy is concerned three of pentacles and the judgment your past person is praying for reunion with you okay they they are unhappy without you they are absolutely unhappy without you and three of pentacles for you it's like you're forging ahead in your life cancer okay you're forging ahead with confidence you're forging ahead with some leadership qualities in your life you may partner up with people for your for work reasons with the judgment card i'm sensing that success is not far away happiness is not far away love is not far away for you i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment down below okay if you are interested in the extended reading link is in the description box and in the comment section we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person okay we'll also see who is a new person coming your way and what are the romantic messages for you and this new person let's see what are the affirmations for you so when i'm uh, when i'm showing you the affirmations i want you to recite these affirmations 10 times a day at least 5 times if not 10 times i can do less and attract more okay pause the video if you want to it's a very beautiful and a very important affirmation my greatest spiritual shifts don't come through force they come through freedom exactly and we were talking about freedom right all the time we were talking about freedom you're trying to free yourself from something and that's what that's the affirmation is about spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion beautiful beautiful so you are of course going to experience some spiritual awakening in the month of november because you're walking in the direction of your own freedom okay all right i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe and comment on below till then bye bye